Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video. It's been a while since we last did one of these but this one is going to be quite a special one as the winning object will be used in the upcoming size comparison in 2025. So today's object we're going to be doing is K218B, the exoplanet that was uh, had quite a big deal about it quite a while back. Obviously the potential ocean world, super earth sized. So we're going to go ahead and see what creations you guys have come up with and then it'll be up to me to... Uh, pick which one I think is best. So, without fair or do, let's go ahead and move over to the customs here. They're already in here, and there is our lineup there. So, the first one here, let's see here, it's here, from the user Zive Chef here. So there we go. Let's go ahead and have a look at it. There we go, that is the first one. Here we go. So we've gone with a more reddish looking shade. Very, very interesting. Okay, so, this may be possible version of K218V. It's a two-faced world. With one side molten and the other side not. Due to tidal heating. I chose to do this um, due to the orbital period of this planet, according to the U-Box Sim, only being a few days longer than that of the moon. So I thought that locking would be reasonable. The atmosphere is pale orange due to small particles of molten rock lifted to the sky and held up due to heavy winds. The non-molten side shows a field of bright lights coming from very active volcanoes, along with a large ocean of water which may or may not be frozen or just completely gone due to weird things with saving objects. The name Sh Shamis comes from the um, Egyptian deity of the same name, who's a goddess of both medicine and destruction, which is a close up how the planet looks. Okay. Very nice. Oh, yes. That's a good look at the both sides there. If any of this information I use is incorrect, blame the Roblox event for taking me long. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, making stuff three hours before submissions close. Okay, very nice. But there it is. So there's our first contender. Let's go ahead and have a look underneath the atmosphere quickly as well. So there it is. So you can see it's got the ocean on one side there, the water, and then also the other side. It is uh, scorching hot. I have to say, though, I haven't heard of the tidy lock theory for this one. I don't know much about this planet. I didn't really... I, I haven't delved into a lot about this one. But I know it's going to be a super earth with, you know, some uh, water vapour. You know, that kind of stuff. So a bit of ocean, potentially. So, yeah. So even if it's possibly having an ocean, it's not, you know, I'm not 100% on this one. Um, but yeah, there we go. Anyway, so... Moving on, next planet. Let's see what we have got. So, where are we? Uh, I think here the old composition objects, that's fine. Got it all in order. So, next up, we've got the user uh, Parcelant, who sent this one in. Let's go ahead and uh, place it in. There we go. Alrighty. So, here it is. It's, what's the all blue? Any description? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's see. Did their Discord say anything about a description? Let's have a look. <laughs> their actual name is, I think I'll just go by Ellie. Okay. Or their name here is uh, Parson. But yeah, anyway. I'll see all ocean blue. Looking very, very good. It's obviously, those red clouds are just the light from the other object. If we just move this one out of the way, you'll see that red area changes. So, yeah, that's just to do with that other one. Cool. So there we go. It's a nice, obviously, ocean blue. It's a two tone atmosphere as well. If we look carefully, you can see. If you look underneath, ocean, dark blackish shades a bit of color as well obviously different color um, land due to vegetation around a red dwarf so if it did have land there's potential life on it you know it wouldn't necessarily be green due to know the photosynthesis process being a little different so there we go looking good okay next up we have got this one here from our elf knoll here so let's go ahead and plop it in there you go go with a more white shaded one okay very nice looking good so underneath, obviously, very, very ocean heavy as well. With the same formula, but just with different colours. So there you go. Looks quite realistic looking as well, that one. Quite like that one. Next up, we've got this one from uh, Colin Not Dev here. Let's go ahead and place it in. Looking good. Ooh, hello there. Okay. Got the custom texture on it as well. Very, very interesting. So Comp 218B here. Okay, here it is. So also known as Epic 2019-12552B. It's exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf K218B. Located at 124 light years away from the Earth. The planet is a sub-Neptune about 2.6 times radius of Earth. The 33 day orbit within the star's habitable zone. It receives approximately a similar amount of light as the Earth does from the Sun. It was initially discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope. It was later observed by James Webb in order to study the atmosphere. In 2019, the presence of water vapour was reported, drawing scientific attention to the system. In 23... The uh, JWST um, detected, uh, such James Webb, um, detected carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere. 
Its data is various, uh, uh, variously uh, interpreted as indicating a water ocean uh, planet with a hydrogen rich atmosphere and a gas rich mini Neptune. K2 18b is a satellite as a potential hazard world that, temperature aside, more likely resembles an ice giant like Uranus or Neptune than Earth. Yeah, that's interesting. In 25, the atmosphere was reported to contain a dimethyl sulfide, a chemical that could serve as a biosignature on exoplanets in quantities 20 times higher than Earth. As the molecule is short lived, the concentration is highly suggestive that um, the EMS is being replenished. Um, Ethan uh, Seidel criticized the statement in its bold claims and flawed analysis, and other scientists pointed to lab experiments that can produce DMS without life. So there you go. Looking good. Not much atmosphere on this one, is it? Like switched off? There you go. That's probably more like it. Maybe it was just glitched. There you go. Very nice. So I'm not sure, obviously, how what level it was intended to be, but you know, there it is. I'll see a bit of land on it as well. On that one, look very, very nice. Okay, moving on. What have we got next? So we've got a uh, cause one here. Let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us here. Okay. Ooh, I quite like that one. So there it is. Looking good. I like the I like the uh, stormy clouds. I have to say that's always very nice. Okay. Good stuff here. All right. Let's have a. Have a little look underneath it as well. So again, this one's got more land heavy than oceans. Okay. Oh, very, very interesting. So there we go. Alrighty. Hmm. All right. So there we go. So there's that one. It's a very, very interesting island. Look how everyone is interpreted it differently. I mean, this one's the most uh, matching for ocean world, isn't it? I guess I'm probably this one, actually. No, that's got the most ocean. Yeah, this one here. And it resembles that Uranus-Neptune appearance as well. So that's... Uh, that's definitely an interesting one. You know, I quite like that. Right, and then I believe we have one more as well. What's the last one? So I believe that is from Texnic. So where is it? Where are we? There it is. Is that... No, no, hang on. Ah, there it is. It was further up the list. So there we go. The final object. There it is. It's got a... Oh, wrong button. There we go. So we've got a flashlight mode. There we go. So... A to A and B from Texnex. So as we can see, all ocean heavy, simple blue atmosphere on top of it. Simple as that. There we go. Okay, so let's get them, all, uh, get them all lined up. We'll go through them. So the first one is definitely the most unique of the bunch, like you said here. So this may be possible version is a two-faced well. One molten hot, the other side not due to the tidal heating. Then again, is that is that correct to the formula that we've been given? You know, I've, I, none of the other theories or none of the thing I've ever read has mentioned it about being tidy locked, so I don't know how accurate this actually is. Plus the molten side as well, I don't know with that. It's an interesting one. I mean, it's an interesting concept for sure, but I don't know how, you know, realistic it potentially is. So, paired orange, it's a nice, uh, nice two-tone one, of course, with the uh, fiery lava on one side and obviously the more regular looking um, on the other side of the, or the little plops of water. So, it's an interesting one for sure. There we go. Oh, let's just make life. There we go. That's Bella. So there we go. Then we've had this one here from TechSnack that we've just seen. It's very, very... Um, for customization, it looks pretty uh, pretty bog standard. I mean, it's literally just a full ocean world with the default blue and a bit of clouds on it. This one here, I like the matching... Um, I like the sort of Uranus-Neptune kind of colour appearance with it. Obviously, with it being very ocean-heavy underneath as well, I think that kind of fits the brief quite well. This, there it is. A few little plops of land on it as well. But yeah, I like the atmosphere and clouds on it. I think that's quite a good representation here. This one here. Again, it's a similar formula with the ocean, but it's very, very colour enhanced. The black oceans as well. It's an interesting one. Um, and it also has, obviously, the purple vegetation here. But you kind of can't see the purple vegetation just because of how dark the oceans are. So anyway, you, you'd see the vegetation a little better with more of a colour like that, I'd probably say. But yeah, there it is. But that's all hidden underneath the atmosphere. Anyway, I like the two-tone look of it. But yeah, very, very colour enhanced. So there we go. Next one up, we've got uh, this one here. This is Alphanol's one. More land heavy than the others as well. Well, see, it originally looked like this. I, I do like the little green areas of the vegetation on it as well, with the Sedna texture underneath there as well. Looks quite nice. But there it is there. Does it have too much land, though, is the question. Obviously, we don't know how much land or how much sea the thing actually has. So that's up to our interpretation. And then lastly, we got this one here from Core with the more greener appearance. If we look underneath here as well. There it is. So Looks like it's got a lot of crater marks all filled in with... Um, 
holes there as well. So there you go. So that is your lineup. So which one do you think is the best? Which one deserves to be in this size comparison video? We'll have to... Uh... Oh, it's up to my decision. And I think I'm going to go with this one here from Alphanol. I like the simplicity of it as well, while still being, you know, more customised. Um, in some way, you know, it's got the thicker atmosphere. The clouds, the colours all mix quite nicely together. It's obviously very ocean heavy, which is kind of matching the sort of concept that this object would technically be. You know, ocean heavy, you know, potentially has poor atmosphere. It has that sort of Uranus Neptune look at, you know, some of the other descriptions are talking about, you know, with a more um, sort of haze to it as well, which I quite like. I like the haze. I think it's quite a nice, I think it's quite a nice um, looking world. So I'm going to go with. Um, this one here is my uh, winner. So yeah, massive congratulations to uh, yeah Alfnol there for uh, taking the win on this one. And yeah, expect to see the object in the uh, size comparison video. Uh, that will be coming up on the 1st of August, like always every year. So it'll be for the channel's uh, nine-year anniversary as well, which will be pretty cool. But yeah, again, a thank you to everyone as always for submitting in these object competitions. It's always nice to see everyone's different interpretations of the same object brief. You know, this one isn't just a custom object. This one obviously does match a real object that's out there. So it's always nice to see everyone's interpretations um, and different thoughts on how it could look, which is cool. But yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Does it look like the real planet? That's a completely a question that none of us can answer at the moment. But you know, it's always nice to uh, always nice to imagine. But yeah, I know I quite like this one. I think it matches it quite nicely. So yeah, that all said and done, everybody. Again, massive thank you to everyone who sent this in. Congratulations to Alphanol for their victory on this competition video. And yeah, that all said and done. Make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.